Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Michelle. In this video we are going to feature in on the class homepage from the instructor's point of view. So currently I have us logged in as a instructor and what you're going to do is you're going to click on classes at the very top of your screen here. This will bring you to your classroom dashboard. Now some of you may have uh, this as your landing page when you first sign in so you wouldn't have to go to classes at the top but just in case that's where you find classes and that'll take you to your classroom dashboard. Once you're here you want to make sure you switch the dashboard view over here and make sure you're listed as the instructor and you can see here we are listed as Jane Austen instructor dashboard but if you happen to pop up as maybe one of your students it'll say here sh the class dashboard for the students so you just click on the switch dashboard view and go back to yourself as an instructor now if you don't see your name in the drop down as an instructor then you'll need to contact your admin of your website and let them know that they need to attach your profile to your instructor profile so um, if they have questions about that they can contact us here at Homeschool Life or you can just let them know that um, when they sign in as an admin and they go to instructor and they edit you to make sure that the family field has your name in it and that attaches you to the profile then they'll have to go into all of your classes and resave them they're not changing them they just have to reconnect it so that you will be able to see yourself here on the dashboard okay once you know that you're on your instructor dashboard you're going to go ahead to your my classes icon and you're cl going to click open one of your classes so let's click open chemistry and this is going to take you to the class home page for that class so let's talk a little bit about the features that you're going to find here on your class home page at the top here you have the title of the class when you click on this title you're going to have options to update the following so let's go ahead and click on chemistry and the first tab here you're going to see general information this includes the title of your class the curriculum that you're using textbook needed ISBN number of books and class descriptions so in here you can make changes that you need to make changes but be sure with your admin that it's okay that you change the description after the class has been created the next tab here registration let's go ahead and click on that so registration for you you can um, create a waiting list if your class allows uh, a wait list you can also send a reminder here if I click on the drop down menu you can choose one two three days prior now this reminder message only goes one time and it goes however many days ahead of time before the very first day of class so maybe you want to remind your students to bring you know print out the syllabus and bring it with them because you're going to go over it or something like that so this reminder message is only going to go out one time and it'll go out according to how many days prior to the first day of classes our next tab here is our finance tab so let's click on it and here this is notes that you want to send to the admin so um, if you have some needs in your class you can put a note here to the admin and they'll get notification that you've put the notes in here our next tab is our resources tab here so let's click on that now let's talk a little bit about how resources work when adding a resource you're going to make sure you have saved any changes you've made in the above mentioned tabs so um, if you've made any changes under general info or registration or under finance you're going to want to click on the save changes button before you add any resources here because when you click on add resources at the top here a message pops up and it warns you that we're going to take you to another page so if there's any changes that haven't been saved they will be lost so if you've made any changes you want to go ahead and hit save changes so we'll just hit save changes anyway and what it does is it takes me back to my class home page so I'm going to click back on our title and I'm going to go back to resources and talk about this so um, in our resources uh, you can add various resources from syllabi you can add a class supply list you can add a video um, you can add a, a JPEG picture you can add all kinds of stuff in here so if I go ahead and click on add a resource at the top here it's gonna give my warning I'm gonna say okay 
and I'm going to give it a label. So maybe this is a class supply. And um, I'm currently I'm not going to give it a category and um, I'll provide a, I'm not going to give a URL, I'm going to just browse my computer and upload a picture or something. So I'll just upload a picture. Okay, so we'll pretend that that's our class supply list and then I'm going to save my resource. Okay, so I could see my class supply list, there's no category attached to it, and it's a JPEG. Now, when you add a resource that does not have a category attached to it, I'm going to go back to the class home page up here, click on here, and you're going to notice that it's here at the top of my screen, class supply list. So any, raw, any resource that has no category is going to be listed right here. Now, if you don't want them listed here, you can have them listed under your resource tab. So let's click on resources. There are none right now. So let me go back. Actually, I'll just go, well, let's go back to chemistry because we're going to edit that one. I'm going to go to resources and I'm going to double click on the class supply list. And I am going to give it a category. So <clears throat> I only have one category in here right now. Um, so let's, let's go back a page. Well, actually, right from here, I can say resource categories right at the top. So I'm going to click on resource categories. Again, nothing's going to get saved here. I don't want to save anything yet, so I'm going to say OK. So here we have syllabus. So let's um, add a category by clicking on resource category. And I'm just going to put supplies needed and hit save button. And then let's go back to our, let's just click on assignments for a minute uh, and go back to class homepage. Hold on. Let's go back. To, okay, now go back to adventures and reading, the title, where we were before, resources. Oh, I was in the wrong class. Let's go back to class homepage. I do not want adventures and reading, so I want chemistry. Here we go. All right, so let's go back to chemistry resources. I'm going to double click on class supply list and I'm going to give it a category now. Supplies need it. And I'm going to say update resource. So now we see here there's a class category here. All right. So we're going to add one more category um, for videos. So I'm going to click up here on resource categories. I'm going to say OK. And then at the top here resource category add. I'm going to add one. So let's add one and let's give it videos and hit save button. Currently we do not offer you a return to class home page link at the top here because resources, this resource landing page, you can get to various ways. You can get through the title of your class home page or you can scroll down on the class home page and go to resources that way. So because there's different ways to get to this, we don't have a return to class home page. And that's where I want to take you next. So the easiest way to do that is to click on assignments. And um, now you'll see at the top right hand to class home page. So we'll click on class home page from here. Okay, so I'm going to click on chemistry again. I'm going to move some things around. I'm going to go back to my resource tab. And then I'm going to double click on this test. It's a YouTube chat uh, video and I'm going to put it under videos as a category and then I'm going to update my resource. Okay, let's go back up here to the class home page and click on it and I'm going to show you where they go. So right now we have another test um, resource at the top but if I scroll down to resources and I click on the resource tab now I see my categories. I have supplies needed and I have videos and so basically what we've done is we've given you the opportunity to categorize all of your resources under the resource tab. Okay, so let's go back to the student view and see how it looks for the student. So I went to the top here and I switched the student to the student view. So I have uh, Dean Austin's the student. And if I scroll down and go to resources, the student can see the resources. And then once there's more, these close up and they can click on the category that they need to view. And when they click on it, it opens up to whether it's a YouTube video or a PDF or a picture, um, they'll be able to see it. Okay, so let's go back to 
the teacher's view, instructor view. Click on chemistry to go back to our tabs. Okay, the next tab we have here is our grading tab. So we'll click on grading. And this is where you can choose whether to grade or not to grade your classes. Um, you could choose your grading scale. You can create a grading scale up here on the right hand side. You can create assignment categories. We have separate videos for this area, but this is just where um, you'll be able to set up your grading for your class, whether you're going to use equal weighting or not. Um, so um, if you want to learn more about this section, just go to our grading video. The next tab we have here is called assessment categories. So here you can use assessment categories to um, further grade your students. Again, um, to learn more about this, you can watch our assessment category video. So I'm going to take you back over to our class home page. And let's see what else we have here. Just below the chemistry um, title and instructor and all that stuff is we have a class roster. So as a teacher, you could click on this class roster and it will open up to show you the students that you have here. Now you can use this class roster to email one parent and their student or just one parent. So instead of using the class forum where it goes to everybody in the class including the students and the parents, if you needed to contact just one parent you could do that by clicking the box here for email. If you wanted the student of that parent to also get a copy of this email, you would highlight their email address that you see listed under their name here. So I'll go ahead and I'll highlight it and I'll right click and say copy, copy email address. Then you're going to click on email parents here, so let's do that. And it opens up to an email It says one family matches your criteria and will be emailed. Now the reply to the email address is your email address as an instructor, but remember we want the student to get it too. So email also to here, we could put a comma and then paste in the email address that we just um, copied. Now it took a little bit more than what I needed, so I'm just going to delete. There we go. So dean at gmail.com. You could put your subject line in here and then the message, you can type up your message. And then at the bottom you can send the email. You can also attach um, files if you need to. So this email originally, um, you know, to email through the roster, the intent is not to email the entire class. The intent is if there's one, maybe two parents that you need to email. It's like a private email between you and the parent. You know, maybe the student is struggling. You don't want to put the email of the student in here. But if it's something you need to let both of them know, you know, this is how you could do it. So I'm going to take you back a page and let's go back one more page. Oh. All right, so let's go back to the class home page. Okay. If we scroll down a bit here, we have a section called the class description and this is what is on the class grid. When you put your proposal in, when you typed up your class, this is what they see on the class grid. If there's a change that you need to make, you could click on this pencil icon next to class description and it'll open up into a text box. And in here you can make any changes you need to make and then go ahead and click save changes when you're done. When you make changes to the class description, it will also make changes on the class grid, but nobody really is going to be told that there's a change here. So if you've made a change here, one of the things you may want to do is click on the announcements. So let me scroll down a bit here. You may want to click on the little pencil here for announcements and it opens up to a text box. So you can just say, you know, there was a change in the description, blah, 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 and then hit save changes. Now, saving the changes does not send it out yet. Okay, oops, let's try that again. Okay, let's save the changes. All right, and then you could see here there was a change in the description. Okay, and then to send it, you would have to click on the email announcements on the right hand side. When you click on email announcements, it says, are you sure you wish to immediately email these announcements to all students, parents, and instructors? And this is where you would say, okay. Um, this is a one-way communication. They cannot respond back to you. You can only, res you know, send the information to them. 
Um, this is also a great tool if you want to send a reminder to the students to bring something the next day. Um, don't forget, you know, just as a reminder, it's kind of like sending home an announcement, like a, um, a little flyer, except it's through email. So there's no communication back and forth. It's just a one-way communication. Okay, just below here, we have our assignments, resources, instructional media, attendance, assessments, and grades section. Um, and again, for each one of these, we do have a separate video to go through it with you. Uh, we basically went through the resources already, how that works. You can also add a resource directly from this tab. Your assignments, uh, future assignments will be here and then um, you'll also see a current assignments. Um, I believe you will also see past assignments for a while. Uh, but this is where you're going to see the assignments. Again, you can watch the video on how to use this a little bit further. Um, instructional media, if there's any media out there that you want to put for your students. Taking attendance will take you directly to the uh, attendance, to take attendance. So you would add a date and you would take attendance. Again, there's another video for this that you can watch. Um, back on the home page, we have assessments and grades. Okay, And just below there, if you don't see this, again, ask your your admin to open up the class form on the edit class home page on the admin side. So the class form is where you're going to communicate to your students and to the students parents by clicking on plus thread on the right hand side that's to add a thread and a thread just means an email that you're starting. Um, you could type up a message it will go to yourself as an instructor any helpers that you have and to the students and to the parents of the students. Okay, if you have any further questions on your um, class homepage, please contact your admin and they'll help you through it.